This is the Ball and Ball podcast, where we're just going to be discussing all things football and boxing. To my left, world champion coach, Dave Colwell, analyst. Uh, he's a bit of everything, Dave. He's a bit of everything. To my right, footballer Josh Windass, goal machine this year. And we're just going to be discussing everything football and boxing. So the first thing we're going to be speaking about today is Fury against AJ. Dave, give me the lowdown on this fight. It's a fight that everybody's wanting to see. Um, I don't think that AJ's losses have diminished the fight, uh, apart from not being for all the belts. And I still think it's probably even more intrigued because you're looking at AJ and even the people that was backing him against Fury now are probably turning against him and thinking he's got no chance. So he's a massive underdog in the fight. I'm one of those people. Yeah, you've always been one of those people. Yeah. On, 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 you reckon on he's just going to get smashed, constantly. don't you, in, in, in early doors? I'm saying four or five rounds, yeah. I don't think I don't even think he's got the power that people say he's got either. Oh, oh, I swear oh, to God. God. I don't think, when have you ever seen him knock someone out one dig in the last five, six years? Nice. I, I don't see it. I just think Fury's just going to... I think he's going to put it on him like he did in the Wilder second fight. If I, can, I, I think he'll actually come out like he did in the, in the, in the Wilder 2 Do you not fight. think he's just lost a bit of confidence because of the Ruiz loss with Joshua? Because I've seen chinks no, in his I, armor I, from I that don't, fight. I don't, uh, people always talk about it since the Ruiz loss. I think there was a change in him after he got dropped against Vladimir. Yeah, I'm the same. I think you can look up... Oh, like, you, mean, you mean that from the, it stemmed from there? Yeah, I okay. think that the, there's just a little bit of uh, he hesitancy and a little bit fight, of doubt. He? But even all the trainers he keeps going through in that, I don't think he backs in. I think he needs outside help to make himself believe that he can win. I don't think he believes he can win fights on his own, and mm -hmm. as mad as it sounds. My opinion on the whole training situation is, I don't know whether, Dave, you're way more qualified to say this than me, but you wouldn't want someone in your corner telling your fighter that you've been, say like if you get employed to train AJ, but you've got to train with, this is not digging out Angel mm. Fernandez, by the way, because he's obviously doing something right, he's training Richard Riappo, he's got Fraser Clark, he's doing well. But if you were employed to train AJ, mm. would you tolerate someone else being there with you, Dave, giving, giving different instructions? There should only be one cook in the kitchen, yeah, in my should, opinion. For, for, me, the, for me, there should be one voice in the corner. Yeah. But, but what I will say is, if you've been employed as a help, to assist somebody, that's your role. So if, yeah. I, if, if I'm brought in to assist... As long as you're aware code, of that. Then that, that's it. But then, then how that would work is perhaps if you're the coach, head coach, me and you would discuss things. If we had disagreements and things, say, oh, I think you should do this, this. We would discuss things and then come to, a, come to an understanding of how we're going to approach it, a plan, a single unified plan, and then you would lead that in the camp, did you see the interview they did fight. before his last fight and he was like oh who's so who's who's the main trainer and they were like both look at each yeah, other this, as if to say like that, oh I, I uh, he does works. a bit of stuff and I does yeah. a bit of stuff and it was like they were like none of them really wanted to take but it's hard ownership because of who's in you control don't, and, unless you're behind closed doors in the gym with them you don't know how the dynamics working which is what I said before the fight is this you know people saying oh Robert Garcia being brought in do you think it, you know how do you think that affects the fight is that a good thing you don't know, because we're on the outside looking in. We don't see what goes behind closed doors. I, like I reckon Garcia don't even want Angel Fernandez there. Yeah, I, I reckon, he's, I reckon he's just there because yeah. he's, getting, yeah. he's getting paid to be there. 100%. I, my, my issue is is this. I, and I've said it to, to KD. I've said it to Freddie. I'm, the manage, the manage, the Anthony Joshua's uh, management team. I got on with very well. I said, take him to Big Bear. Take him to America. Get him away. He should not be chasing university students around a corridor. He shouldn't. <laughs> at 2 o'clock in the morning. He shouldn't be. He sh I, 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 an, an elite level athlete like that should not be collaring 18-year-olds at 2 o'clock in the morning because they dissed him in a corridor. <laughs> it's, uh, tell me what you're laughing at. It's true, isn't it? That's, he shouldn't that's be. like me going he out should... someone's that gaff on Twitter. Yeah, on that it's like him going out on a student night running around like that because he said, oh, you shit at football or something does, like that. Eh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know why he gets up till the weekend. That happens regularly. Yeah, man. but I'm saying that you've got to have, like, go and take him away to America where no one, nobody will care about Anthony Joshua. I, think, Big I think ultimately, regardless of all that sort of things, AJ, from the outside looking in and from the bits where, where you know, you kind of see him, you know him, you're around him, um, I think he's a guy that needs to trust whoever he's got. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's one, two, three coaches, whatever. He needs to trust the people around him implicitly. And because we know it looks like he has demons. Every fighter has demons. Yeah. Sometimes when his performances haven't been good, you look at the, the uh, Ruiz loss, you look at even um, the way he came out against Usyk, there's a different demeanor about him. His, yeah, his mood, his, his mentality can change. I, I think he needs that trust I'm not qualified to say, but I actually don't think he's good enough. There you go. 
I think a you fully fit. I, I think a yeah, fully fit Andrew Ruiz beats him. So I've got this problem I where, where not, and it's not, it's not the fact that I'm a big AJ fan, right? You've got to look at who has he beaten throughout his career. Yeah, I'm an AJ he's fan as well. Look at them rankings. You, I, you I just don't think. No, I just don't. I think if Ruiz chucked that second fight, then he was. 500 didn't stone. train did he yeah. <laughs> he, didn't train. he didn't train I'm saying a fully fit Ruiz beats him as well again no I disagree I do Honestly, disagree I don't I, with AJ it's a man it's what he said afterwards he goes his first statement after he lost was I need to train harder no you don't yeah. need to train harder you need to get your head right mate yeah. you need to get your head right mate you can he can hit Anthony Joshua can hit Joe Joyce has told me he shared rounds with Joshua and he said he didn't sometimes he, he'd hit him and he'd like Phew. and Joe would tell no, me about obviously, got, obviously he can punch got, but no. I'm saying like He's at the top, top, top level. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't really put know, people away, has okay, he? Really? Look, look at the Ruiz has fight. He? he got caught with a, with a shot against Ruiz, right? On yeah. the top of his temple, yeah. one it, Dave, yeah? It ruined the fight. That, that ended the fight there. He was gone after that. And he's lost twice to Usyk. He's arguably the best fighter in the yeah. world. On paper. He's landed flush on it. I know he's got a good chin in that. On Usyk, he landed flush on AJ. He's like a, uh, on did, did Ruiz, it was a flash. Did he In both fights, probably. He did flush? a few. I think I remember. I'm saying he didn't hurt any of them. In the first fight, he caught... Usyk with a, with his best right hand, I think I don't know, I can't remember what round it was, but it catches him as Usyk comes in a straight line and nails him with a big right hand. But still, it weren't quite quite flush. I, I understand what you're saying. He's not a lights out one he's punch not wilder, out, like Wilder. Yeah. But, but well, is, yeah. Wilder, let's yeah. be honest. Yeah, let's yeah, be honest. In, in, the, in the heavyweight division, no, who no. the hell can yeah. can? Because Wilder can literally lean over the fence at, at Twyla Cross and, and, and chin an animal. And, and regardless of, of whether he, he hits hard enough or whatever. He hits hard enough to drop all these people. Look at look at the people he's knocked out. Look at the people he's dropped. Right, he hits hard enough to get rid of them. Look at his look at the Pulev. caliber the caliber of the fighter. He was quite young, weren't he, Pulev? Yeah. <laughs> look at he's a good fighter. He's still a good fighter. <laughs> he's still a good fighter. No, he is good. He's a still a good on. operator. Listen, a lot of heavyweights. Lennox Lewis, I know he finished at was it thirty eight. Even at thirty eight, but Lennox Lewis could could still box on into his forties. He yeah. was that good. And I just a lot of heavyweights peak at their their, their, their in a later age. You, you can't look at what what AJ done and say he's not good enough. He's not. Is he is he good enough to beat elite elite? That's what I'm then, saying. I'm, looking, I'm on about different. the top 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 of the sport. What's there's two people. Tyson Fury and Usyk. Fury and Usyk. That's it. And Joe Joyce. Wilder. No. Fury and Fury Fury and Usyk. And Wilder. No, no. Do you think Wilder beats AJ? Wilder's not elite. Do you think he beats AJ? Wilder's not elite. Do you think he beats AJ? Wilder's not elite. Do you think he beats AJ? Do I think he beats? Honestly, do you think he beats AJ? I think it's a toss-up. Exactly the same. I think. think, I'm saying he beats AJ in three rounds, no problem. Quite, quite, quite 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 possible. possible. uh, Let me add this: Wilder can beat any heavyweight in three rounds. But AJ could beat beat Wilder in three rounds. Just looking at that suspicious-looking wasp there. (laughs) Except for (laughs) he couldn't beat Tyson in three rounds, though, could he? Who? Deontay. Um, no, well, he obviously yeah. obviously hasn't. He's had, he's had three attempts to do yeah. it and, and couldn't do it, so no, we'd have to say that aside. No, I'm, I'm saying every other. I'm saying he beats Usyk. I'm saying he beats every other heavyweight in the world. Wilder. No, I disagree. I, I think. I, I, but but he's like I agree with what you're saying, but I think he's capable of beating every yeah, heavyweight in the division. Because if he lands that right, but if Usyk gets into his flow, Usyk you, he's not winning a round off Usyk. Not happening. No, I agree. I think it'll be like the Ortiz fight a little bit. But but I still think people it ends do the same slag at Wilder up too much, saying he can't box his Olympic bronze medalist. Can box. Yeah. He just he has been allowed the free freedom to be and I'll tell you something as well. Fights. Wilder, I will talk about Wilder. Him hooking up with Malik Scott is a great move. Yeah, agree. Because he's his you boxing IQ there. is just gonna get better and better. Malik's and better. gonna be a brilliant coach, yeah, by the really way. Is. Really, really, yeah. really good coach. Well yeah. he looked better in the third fight, didn't he? Yeah, I know absolutely. Fury was, he the game plan went out the window because a bit. fatigue took over. So game plan went out the window and then Tyson and the Fury. Circumstances in every fight in there. Fury had that problem with his kid where he weren't training as much, he went into that third fight. Yeah. Not out of shape, but not his usual self. And do we agree that Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight in the world? Number one, right now. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Man. I, yeah. I I think that Usyk Tyson Fury, if they fight, it's a stinker. Oh, stinker, hundred percent. It's a stinker. It's, it's a, a proper stinker for, for a for a a purist and for somebody that appreciates skills. Yeah. It's a really good fight to watch. It's, it's like really the, the, the kid but in for, me was AJ against yeah. Fury. I'm well more excited to watch that oh, fight than the, than the Usyk. It'll happen. I don't. Not this year. You know they're talking about this. December, and it's too short, isn't it? To I build don't. it up and all that. Because of the TV situations and things like that. And also, here's another thing. From a fan's point of view, we want it in the UK. But from the fighters' point of view, you know, if they go to Saudi... They're, 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 they're 100 mil on the top. Yeah, exactly. So why, why would they take the fight 
for the money. Because Fury, Fury giving the 24-hour deadline. About, about you can't take Tyson <laughs> Fury's word for it. One day, yeah. one, one minute he's retired, next minute he's, he's, exactly. he's, he's fighting Derek he's Obviously, he wants paying the most. He can't throw the fire. So why would he take a short end? Do you not think it's just a bluff? So it yeah. But do you think he's I, bluffing I on how easy he thinks it's going to be? I think he believes he's going to... I genuinely believe they think they're bluffing each other constantly. I think Tyson Fury, this is my honest opinion, He's using this as a smokescreen to lure Usyk out for the Undisputed in December. Because yeah. Usyk's already yeah. said that he's not fighting in December, yeah. he's, he needs time away yeah. with his kids and that. Tyson's basically saying, okay, if, if he's not going to do December, that, I'm going to give AJ this payday yeah. and we're going to have this huge fight. That's why I think... I, I think he's using When it comes down to putting ink on paper, if I'm... I hope I'm wrong, by the way, because I want to see this fight because I'm a boxing fan. Before yeah. anything else, I'm a fan. Yeah. I want to see the fight. But like Dave, I don't think this fight's going to happen. Do you think Fury thinks it's going to be as... So you know he's called him a bodybuilder and he's rubbish yeah. and all that. Yeah, I do think Tyson. Do you think he believes that? Yes. So yeah. you think he's gonna? He, yeah. You think Fury yeah. believes he'll wouldn't, smash him in four rounds? Wouldn't like you easy? as well? Looking at looking at um, his last two fights. Last I believe it as well, but I'm saying is he just doing that to get in his head? Or do you reckon he no, believes, he's, believe he it, believes he's rubbish? He believes he's rubbish. Yeah, believes he's rubbish. If AJ gets his head right, Dave, listen, he can cause Tyson Fury problems. Fury's not an idiot. He doesn't believe he's rubbish. He just thinks he's nowhere near his level. Yeah, but that's dangerous as well, as well. Yeah, it is, but but also the biggest thing for me and the biggest worry for for AJ for me is not the capabilities of each fighter physically. It's how much does Fury screw AJ's head up before he even gets in that ring? I agree because Fury, if if you and I, that's another reason why I think Fury would hesitate or is hesitating to go in with Usyk because. I think he knows he can't get in, in Usyk's head. Yeah. And the fact that he can't get in somebody's head, does that mess up Fury's head? Whereas he knows that he can torture AJ going into that yeah, fight. Yeah, call him a dosser every and, two and, minutes. And, <laughs> and, and, and AJ Usyk don't even know what a dosser fight. is. But listen, going, go, Dave, who wins that fight and, and how? Fury, AJ, who, who wins if and how? If that happens now, uh, then you'd have to say Fury's the favourite. Um, how? I would, I would we have say to get predictions in this. Oh, not this far out before it's even made. Come on, Dave. I would say your prediction had changed probably it, as it yeah, goes on. Yeah, because if you had to, if you had to, if you had to put so, your house on so, it now, so how? Fury against Wilder two, that version of of oh, cool, cool look boy, at the professionalism here, man. Hey, what's going on? It's my old man. It's my old man. Come on, carry on. Um, Fury against Wilder two, that Fury, the way that he fought that, I think I'm with you. I think Same I think job. it's like. In, could, could be inside four rounds. Jesus. Wow. But, but, this is my thing about every, Fury's great and everything, but how many performances has he actually looked great? How many performances has he had? Go through his career, how many performances has he actually looked great? Sometimes he's not on cold. And, and if he's well, not... I agree with that. If he's not, and if AJ Look can get Wally some fight. sort of com confidence in that, and it's a toss-up fight. AJ on another day, power. on another day, I don't want to move on in a second, but on another day, and that was in a British boxing ring, Wallen would have won that fight on a cut. Mm. He would have. Mm. So I'm, I'm going to say Tyson Fury win that fight yeah. inside nine rounds, you're saying Fury. I'm agreeing with Dave, it's four or five, done. I, but, I, but I think it depends on which version of Fury comes. Yeah. It's like with, with, with the if Dillian White. Fury, so, no beard so, turns up, man. So with the Dillian White fight, we all expected more from Fury. And then you looked at him in that fight and it was like, I know he's taking his time. Do you not think he, had, he didn't have to? He didn't have to. Though, yeah, but that's he? a big he, exhibition, a big showcase. You're at Wembley. You he did Wembley. end it well, though. He, ended yeah, he, ended it. It. he closed the show well, didn't he? He, did, he, did. he didn't take but, a shot. But before that, I'm not being funny. Was it a great fight? Was it a great no, performance? No, no. But isn't that? Well, I, listen, I think that was more down to Dillian not really biting down on his gum shield and going for it because that's. I, I expected more from Dillian. I never expected him to win that fight, so I don't want to lie and say, oh, I thought no, Dillian would. But, 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 but I expected a lot, lot more yeah. from Dillian in that fight. And I think Tyson just thought, this is this is a piece of piss, this is for me. Keep him long, bang, finish, fight's over. But if he, if he, but, but my point is, is in every way boxing, if you play that game, it's let's say if he goes out there and, and, if, and if this is easy way, AJ, mm. and he goes to clown and play about, AJ does possess that ability. If he gets his feet arranged, if he lets his hands, he does possess that ability to switch your lights off. Because if Steve Cunningham can drop you, if other fighters where he's been, you know, he's Peach been tagged and, and where, way. yeah, it was. But <laughs> Steve Cunningham's a cruiserweight. Are you, are you telling <laughs> me that? Straight over the top. Are you, are you telling me that Steve Cunningham is harder than AJ? <laughs> no. So what I'm saying is, everyway boxing. If you take the longer that you're allowed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, that, that's that's perfect time to move on to. Your, your, your game here, Josh. We'll move on to football now. We'll and, and we'll talk about the England team that's going to go to Qatar at the end of this year. 
What um, not the squad now, the squad that no, will go. No, I, I think we should. I think what 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 team do you think English should pick going to this World Cup? On from the spot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like who, who, who do you? Who, who, uh, <laughs> yeah, do you reckon you'll get in, Josh? Yeah, You've got an outside. Hey, listen, if you keep banging you, the goals in, you never know. If they get sixty-five injuries, I might get a shot. <laughs> um, no, I think I think the team half picks itself. Um, Harry Kane, Sterling, yeah, the the boys who you'd imagine, Declan Rice. Um, it's Calvin Phillips. He's unfit, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's not in this squad. Um, Jordan Henderson just replaced him, I think. Yeah. But I think the team picks itself. Kyle Walker, Reese James. There's obviously in that argument with Trent, them three and Trent. Who would you go for? I played as with Reese, so you... I'm a bit biased. Oh, right, OK. But I'd go with Kyle Walker, I would. I think he's the, the steady I'd one. Play, it depends if they're going to play a back three or a back four. If they're playing a back three, then it's Kyle Walker, right centre-back, Reese or Trent. I'm obviously biased, played with Reese, so I'd go with Reese. But Trent's arguably the most disrespected player yeah. in the world at the minute. I think he's awful at the moment, yeah. Trent. Let me guess, you can't defend. But he's a defender, it's so he has to be able to defend. It's the lazy shout in the world that Trent Alexander-Arnold yeah, can't defend. So speaking he's of lazy, when, you, when you see him trotting back, when 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 somebody else on that tackle, well, that trotting but, back... That, no, I get what you're saying. Yeah, come, on, you, sure. come on, Josh. Do you he's hand, a defender, he has to be able to defend. Do you hand on heart believe Jurgen Klopp would pick him every single week for four years at right-back if he can't defend? Who else is going to get in front of him? Well, he could sign any right-back in the world. No, he couldn't. I, I, no, he I could, rate him. I do no, rate no, him. As a footballer, you can't yeah, argue with his talent. He's not, unreal. Do you, do you not think if he couldn't defend Liverpool, couldn't sign a right back that could? Come on. No, no I'm saying the, the his talents. Play, his talents of going the, forward. The oh, no, he's unbelievable. He's unbelievable going forward. His ball yeah. distribution. Unbe- can't so defend. is Reese though. He can't. So he can't yeah. defend. Yeah. Reese James is, a, is an overall better player than Trent Alexander. Reese played in centre midfield for us. Obviously, different level in the championship. He played in midfield. He was a joke, like ridiculous player. And we said straight in, I think he was 19, 20 at the time, quiet, hardly speaks. But I was like, he's going to the top straight away. Just unbelievable player. And gone to right back, he's obviously smashed it now. Just signed a new deal. I've seen highest paid defender six, in Chelsea's six, history. Six year deal, no, seven year deal. Something like ridiculous, yeah, isn't it? He's struggling a bit. No, I like Reese James. I like Trent, but he just can't defend. He's awful. I think if you're going to play. No, no, I won't go that far. He's but, awful defending. I think if you're going to play. Did you watch the Napoli game? Yeah. Oh, just see if you're gonna, yeah but just see if you're going to play like. In the group stage again, so who's in our group? I don't know who's in it. If you're going to play... We get fortunate all the if time. If you're going to play a pony well, team in the group, yeah. you've got to play Trent, surely. Because he's not... We're going to have all Would the you ball. take all three then? Would you take Reese, yeah, Kyle Walker play, and and, uh, think, and Trent? See, international football, you can play Kyle Walker at the back. You don't have to jump for headers and stuff at the back. Yeah. The physical, because they're all... Yeah. They all play passing from the back and that. You can 1 million percent play Kyle Walker. So look at his pace. He gets England out of trouble yeah. every single time. Kyle yeah. Walker's... As a whole round player, is the best out of the three, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Who would you play at centre back? Because there's a big debate, isn't there, about Maguire, about what he did. I don't personally care what he does for Manchester United. But he delivers for England. But if he's can not he play? Yeah, he can't play if he's not if playing. He's not, I don't agree with this. Where if the if I mean it might be old fashioned. It's whatever, different. If you're not playing, if you're not playing at club level, you're not much sharp. Can, yeah, exactly. Fast. Southgate doesn't. He's, no, he's notorious. He doesn't do that. Does he? Listen, he doesn't pick I, on club form, does he? Again, a completely different level. I was out for twelve months last year with my hamstring. Yeah. yeah. You come back and play a play off game you still play the game but you're not you're not up to the, no. the standard to you should be at no way so if he's not played in the last it's three, like, so three it's months like, it's like with, with us, if, if we've got a fighter going into a fight and he's not sparred and then he's going into a fight time is off everything you, you, you can't read things, certain situations the same you need that and that you're not even doing the same like thing the, as all football, the, like, the sprints and the load and that you're not even doing that week to week on a regular basis so it's good do it against the top level side so so my thing is okay doing this bringing in bring, listen I'm a Man United fan but Maguire and Shaw haven't been playing right so if you're go through history where we've took players because the the reliable they always scoring you know whoever it might be I think Rooney went to a World Cup when he was when he wasn't fit uh, Rafa has gone to tournaments when he's not fit when you're doing that with players because of what they've done in the past you trust him you think there's going to how many of them actually get to perform in that? And then after the tournament, you're saying, shouldn't have took them. Yeah. So play, is he not I'd repeating that Walker same, same pattern? In international football. And before everyone says, he's a pace. right back, what do you even know? Pace. It's com- international football is completely different. You're not it's, jumping, it's totally you're not not jumping football, up against it? Ivan Tony or yeah. Drogba and people like that. You're playing out from the back. You've got, you're have got playing against Spain, who's got the smallest striker in the world up front. You play Kyle Walker, John Stones together at the back. You play Luke Shaw. Or chill well Would you not back. take Maguire to the World Cup? Reese or Trent? No, you've got to take him. You've got, but, you've got to take him. But the problem is there is it. So we're, we've got we've got weeks left. But if Maguire can't get into the team, 
and he's not playing. But you have to take him for squad depth, though. Who squad else depth. Yeah, I get that. But would but I'm talking about would you start him? Would he be your Would he be your go to? No. And that's like, so I'm you'd not, start. I, I think he's been brilliant for England. Stones, Walker, Reese, or Trent, Ben Chilwell. So you you wouldn't play a centre back. Yeah, John Stones. Yeah, so John Stones, Kyle, Kyle Walker. Walker. And Ben Chilwell on the on that side, or Luke Shaw. Yeah, or and then Reese and Trent. They're both as good as each other, aren't they? Do you know what frustrates me most about England as well? We've got this is another golden generation, isn't it? Yeah. It's another golden generation. The game against Italy. I know people say, "Oh yeah, we did so well, got to a final. Should have won the final. Should have won the final." How can you have a forty-year-old defending in in Chiellini, and we had all that pace on the pitch, and we didn't give him a run once? It the lack of ambition. Kills me watching him. Got England. Trippier as well, top that right back. Yeah, so many, got an unbelievable and he, and options can go, right he back. Can go on the left as well, can't yeah. he? Um, unbelievable, unbelievable is it, is options. It a, is it a creativity problem? We can't listen. Can't, you've got Sterling, you've got Mount, you've got. Yeah, I get. We can't all be wrong, but in the system that 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 they're playing, are they creating enough to win tournaments? Do you think? I just think if you come up against Brazil, Spain, you're actually not as good as them. No. Like you just, you're actually not. No. So you've just got to play like you'd play a direct League football, game, yeah. direct football, <laughs> not direct football. But you you can't out you can't batter Brazil and Spain at their own game. So yeah. you have to yeah exactly. So yeah, you have to I play can't. like lump the ball up to the big centre forward. Get Kane and Tony. Yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> but when you're not playing Brazil, Spain, and you you know we've seen it in tournaments before where we we have this cluster of players that are brilliant and outstanding, but for some reason when when they're playing for England. They're not creating the amount of chances that you would expect with those players on there, mm. and it might be against your, your your medium sort of mid-level sort of teams where we scrape by on a one-nil win or we get a draw in a group stage or something. What, what do you think it is? Is it this? Is it the system, or is it just the way? Well, we've got a lot of criticism of Southgate in there. Like it's off, like with Grealish when, when they were every single England fan. You remember at the the Euros? Yeah. Every, we can't all be wrong. Everyone was like, start Grealish. Yeah. You have to start Grealish. Still didn't start him. Yeah. So it's like. 80,000 people in that stadium can't be wrong. But we got to the final without starting Grealish. Yeah. I, I understand so, that, but do you, know, do, you, do you not think they were fortunate? With the, with the, with the teams that they got, that they got we, we, we have, we've been fortunate. We Happened in the World Cup as well, been fortunate. Been Germany, mate, that's it. But like you say you've been fortunate. That was, like, that was great, that was. Do you watch the Scotland game? If you look that at, you're saying Grealish, obviously an unbelievable player. You've got Phil Ford and you've got Sterling. Yeah. Yeah. Probably both better than him. No, I agree. I, yeah. Yeah. So, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Sterling delivers for England though, doesn't he? Yeah, he does yeah. deliver for England. Same as McGuire. It's like, it who was that big German centre forward? I can't, I can't even remember his name. The big, uh, Mirist Closer. Closer, yeah. He was not good for for yeah. his club, but he was brilliant for, for yeah. Germany. That's the kind of thing I'm saying for Maguire. I'm not saying he's but brilliant. he's playing for his club though. That's he was, it, he's playing. Match up. All right, but... No, it, he, that is a big thing. Uh, uh, for me, and I'm, not, I'm not saying that Harry Maguire's shouldn't be starting for no, England. I'm not saying no. he's a great player, but I'm saying he does I'll deliver for England when he plays. Shall I give you a little last minute? Well, Call up for England, James Tarkovsky, Everton, makes the squad. There do you go. think he does? I think he's unreal. Do you think he makes the squad, though? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. That's a shout, then, right? The last there. Uh, he makes the uh, squad. I'll say I've him. been watching him a few weeks for Everton, and I, he was at Burnley before, which he only never made squads because of the style of play Burnley play, in my opinion. So Gareth Southgate looked at it and thought, he don't really fit our style, but he really does. He's fucking class so how does last thing on this subject how do England get on in this tournament how do you see them doing be honest David I, mean, I, I, th I think the players that we've got I think if they click and and they, if they go for it I think we can do really well in it I really do, do, full, full do what's the bare minimum requirement in this tournament what's the minimum requirement semis it's semis. got to be it's got semis. to be full honesty though quarters do you think Brazil, uh, the, the yeah. top teams at the World Cup. Yeah, unfair. I think we'll end up getting one of those. This teams. isn't the best Brazil team, by the way, that they've had in years. They're not that good. It's not a bad side, by the way. Have you seen the eleven? Yeah, yeah. It's Come absolutely. on, man. <laughs> it's, it's it's not, but it's not one Trink, of the best. What, think any England player, maybe Harry Kane, would get in the Brazil starting eleven. I don't know. I think Sterling's better than Richarlison. Yeah, but he doesn't play. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're a big Neymar fan as well. By the way, Josh thinks Neymar's better than Ronaldinho. No. Just to cap this up, like, no. what is going on there? No, no he, no, he isn't. Couldn't no, lace his boots. Ready for this then? Hold on. Oh, I'm go. prepared for this. If you bring me out stats, Josh, no, no, I'm, I'm gonna, it, I'm gonna lump that I, phone I, I'm out the window. You out stats, I'm not even a big stat man, but you ready for this? 
Look, the let beagle even it. thinks you're ridiculous. No, let me find it. I can't even, here we go. Where is it? I can't actually find it. But he's played 150 games less than Ronaldinho, yeah? Yeah. And he's scored a, for, in, for, in club or, it's like between 100 and 150, in, I don't have the exact stat. He's scored France. 100 more goals and got like 150 more assists. Plays in a Taverners League, Josh. He's 29. In Plays in a Taverners League. 29, he's got about six years left. Plays in a Taverners League. Who did, did Ronaldinho not play for PSG? Yeah, for a year. He played for PSG. Did he play for Barcelona? They've got the exact same fucking careers. Come on, man. Right, that's going to do it. Yeah. That, that's going to be doing it. Who scored move. more for Brazil? Right, okay, well, I totally disagree with that, and we'll come back to that another day, but I hope people give you a lot of stick for that comment. Eubank Ben, we we'll move on to that. Oof. Eubank Ben, um, I think it's a, it's, it's, it captures the imagination of, of, the, of the wider audience. It's, I it's cannot massive. wait for that. I can't wait for that fight. Well, I'm putting my neck on the line. Go yeah. on, straight well, away, I'm straight in. in. I love Conor Ben, I swear to God, I, like, big fan of Conor Ben. Yeah. I think he gets battered. As, as, so you think he gets destroyed? What we're we, we talking about? No Blowout? Three, three, th oh, no. zero chance. I, I, I actually kind of want Conor Ben to win. Kind of. I want Conor Ben to win. I'll be honest. I, I, I want like Conor Ben to win. Me and you saw the same thing. The podcast. If you haven't seen it, yeah, with Stephen Bartlett, Bartlett. It makes you like Chris you Uwe 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 a lot more. You understand him. You understand why he's now. He's oh, he's hilarious. He's hilarious. No, I haven't. I haven't. Watch it. Watch it on the way home. Yeah, it's brilliant. I'll listen to it on the way. But I've spent. I've spent a little bit. I used to come to David A. Jim years ago. He's got dry humour do you know what I mean and he, but I think he's also very he's articulate he's very clever isn't he like oh, you, saw, you saw you saw the way he Look was what he's doing now with his, with his little videos but you should have seen the, the way he was dealing with Connor in that face yeah. off yeah. I thought he, cold, I thought yeah. he was sensational yeah. in that face off I but really did because it, they're not but if fights are one off press conferences and all what people read into the way I see it is this if it's based on that. the way I see it is Chris, and, I'll, and I'll be I won't go too much into it I've got a weird take on it but Dave, you know you you're, you're again you're qualified with this. Fighters that are weight depleted, yeah. they run out of gas. Yeah. So Eubank's whole game is engine. Yeah. yeah. He's thirty three years old. Yeah. He hasn't made this weight since he was eighteen. I think if the fight goes past six or seven rounds, I think Conor Ben wins on points. But do you not think? A do you, I'm do you, not saying he's the favourite. I think Eubank is the sixty quite easy. I, I yeah, think yeah, Eubank's I, the favourite. Do you think? Right, so listen, says. I think Eubank's the favourite. Do you remember, do you remember fight? David David A against Enzo Macanella? Yeah, yes, right. very clearly. Adam and David made out for months, fights beforehand. It's so hard to make cruise weight. It's so hard to make cruise weight. Trying to draw that fight out. And trying to, because they knew that they would only take that, McAnally's team would only take that fight if they thought it was dead at the weight, right? He made that weight easy, easy. And it comes to fight night and you saw exactly how sharp it was, how powerful it was, how, how fit it was. He made that way. They've done it already now, as well. Now, his old man saying, "I don't always think yeah, it's just, be fighting, just so, so much about that." Listen, I'm not saying that it's not going to be hard work for him. It's hard work for every fight to make the way. But I don't think that these are clever, clever people. Chris Eubank Jr., smart kid. He's got his dad. He's got yeah. people around him. Ronnie they Davis, would, Ronnie they, they smart would people. not have took that fight if they didn't think he was going to smash him to bits. He can make that way. It's not about oh we'll beat him anyway. All this talk about oh we'll beat him anyway. I can't, I can't no, kind of or do whatever. No, they know how he he makes. Like, I'm, I'm sure I've seen him get weighed before where he's got you know he's, he's got gloves on he's got bottoms on he, like he makes 160 quite comfortably he's, he's not I don't think it kills him to make 160 I'm not saying the extra three pounds are not going to be hard work it is going to but you know when you've got weeks to build up to it yeah if you've got a good nutritionist and a good plan and you're dedicated and you're, and you're focused on what you're going to do you know exactly what to do to make that weight the only thing that I would say for me is a little bit uh, a little bit of a fact well it's a big factor it's a rehydration clause. I don't like rehydration They should clause. sack them off boxing for I think forever. I hate them. I hate them. So, so I hate them. If you're going to, if, if you, if you want to fight this, it's man, definitely one, right? And you want to, I believe so. You make that weight, that's the way you've made that's it, job it. done. Don't, don't then, if you, you, you're saying, right, let's do it. Because I'm hearing that, that, again, we don't know, but I'm hearing that, that they suggested 157, you bank team suggested. They did, that's a fact. This so is fact. They, if they this suggested facts. that weight, they know he can make that weight. Right, but if you're bringing a man to a certain weight and you're coming up, right, and you're going to that weight, right, if he can put on what a stone, pounds, two, right? stone and off, don't makes, care. Yeah. If you've got him to make that weight, should be it. Get the job done yeah. because number one, he's having to work to get to that weight. 
let's say he is struggling, right? Number one, he struggled to get that weight. You've got him there. And then you're stopping him from, from getting hydrating properly. So say you go out and beat him. Have you beat the best version of him? No. No. But I'm, I'm, this I'm fight's about money, isn't it, though, Dave? One million percent. It's about, it's about, it's about dough. Massive this fight, let, let, you can't bloodline and all that kind of stuff. It's about money, and they've capitalised on the fact that their old men yeah. had a, unbelie- a legendary I mean, rivalry. People talk about Ben's power as well. But, like, mate, ben, I, think ben, ben, I think Conor Ben, I think, I was going to say, George men, Groves. Don't, don't, is, no, Conor's got power. Yeah. George Groves is a 168 pounder. Couldn't knock Groves out. I understand. Yeah. Bangs. I've yeah. seen videos of George Graham yeah. sparring every week, by yeah. the way. Yeah. And, he, and, he can, and he can he and can punch. I work with George and, Graham. And I'm not and I'm not and I'm not yeah. saying Eubanks. It's a different it's kind of a power. different kind of power. So you're saying a one four seven. You you no, think he can put Eubanks on his ass? It's a different kind of power. It's a different kind of power. Do you think it remember, Eubank, remember? Ma, so ma, hand on heart. The, re, I, the rehydration. I don't I personally don't think because I've seen now how yes, Ben's immensely blessed with power. But Eubanks immensely blessed for his, his dad's chin. chin. And yeah. he's, he's blessed for power at 147 yeah. now, isn't he? Yeah, but I, I'm not, I've heard, and I know it's yeah. true. It's just gym stories. It's, yeah. This sparks with me like before. Yeah. I know he's kind of, he carry, and that's inspiring us. The man, and he said, when I'm saying to you it's a different kind of power, it's the speed that's attached to that yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The force that he generates through the speed where you might not see the shot. Whereas you're seeing George's shots so a little bit more. There's a different bit sorts of power. Like, George has got that heavy, heavy, heavy handed, right? Whereas Connor's that explosive. So it's different kind of power. Just because that man can't knock that man out. But okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm asking you though, do you think Connor Ben can put Eubank on his ass? I yeah, think it's. I, 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 I believe I do as well. I, I do as well. Yeah, I think he can put him on his so, ass. So I'm not saying. I'm not saying. So by the way, so any plonkers read this. Sam thinks it. he's got. No. Eubank, he he Eubank is the favourite in this fight, and I've said this to Connor as well. 100%. By the way, I've said it, but I do believe there's a way for yeah. Connor Ben to win this fight. However, if you're a betting man and you have to put your house on it, yeah. Eubank's a favourite early. And, and I'll tell you something as well. Early, yeah. But so before the fight. Connor's chin has not been tested so, yet, really. Right, as it's been dropped. Yeah, but I mean, like, exactly, so it's not been... He got that, tested at yeah. your call when he was I mean, a kid, got, to be got, fair to No, he got dropped by that... Payno, Cedric Payno, Cedric yeah. Payno. Um, so to fight a guy yeah. at this level... He has to be better. So, so, so but, but this is why I'm saying, right, it's a massive ask for Connor, right? Yeah, but you're agree. asking me, can it? Yes, he's he got bollocks. He's got bollocks. It's a massive... Massive And it's him that's coming up the weight, giving up the size, everything. It's all stacks against him. I said before the fight, if Roy Jones trains Eubank, I thought I thought Connor's got a great chance. Yeah, me to win. too. Me too. But if, if Eubank goes to his old aggressive walk for three, exactly yeah, no tactics, just like, put it, that's, on it right on it. That's exactly my point. Yeah. I thought, hold on a minute. If we're seeing the version of Eubank Junior, we've seen the last few fights where he's trying to Japan, do, yeah. trying to be yeah. the Roy Jones Junior. Yeah. Listen, nobody can. I, yeah. I wasn't being disrespectful, yeah. but he's crap at trying to yeah. be Roy Jones Junior because yeah. there's only one version of yeah. him, and that was him. Yeah. But if he goes back, reverts yeah. back to the old style yeah. of, of of how he was, come forward. Yeah. Did you see that? All guns blazing, you would fancy Eubank Jr. heavily. Yeah. If he boxes how he's been boxing, yeah. it, this is a this is this is and Connor can win. As well, what, what, what you've got to look at, right? Regardless of what you think about him, regardless about his power, right? Connor Ben has got to be in in what I've seen and in my time in boxing, right? The rate of improvement oh, in that kid is a, as a boxer is unbelievable. Maybe he was just when bluffing us at the start. Was, he says, yeah, he, he, says he finds it disrespectful. Like, oh, oh I'm the most improved. No, but but you are. You got, you got it's, battered it's, by it's somebody who yeah. can't it, fight. Yeah, but it's at his, the his technical career. ability. So the Tony Sims has got to take a lot of credit for that. Tony's got to take a lot of credit for that. And I also respect Tony a lot. And I don't believe Tony would, would take, put, this, fight. Would take no. this fight if well, he didn't think Conor Ben was no. going to flatten Eubank. No. But do you think when Conor said in the behind the gloves, I'm going to walk out middle of the ring? No, I believe him. Trade off with you. I believe him. I, I kind of do. I believe him. I think he's going to go there, bite his gum shield. He's like, he's come out of his he's come out of his dad's nuts, Josh. He's going to go straight, straight. I think straight for him. Plan might not be. But I think it will. But I think he'll do it a bit smart. But don't forget, listen, who's in his gym is he sparring all the time? Yeah, Felix, Cash. Felix Cash. Felix Cash is a really good fighter. And, and really a middleweight. Good fighter. Fast, sharp, big man. Middle you know what I mean? Always John in good Ryder. condition. John Ryder. He's got big men around him all the time and he's yeah. used to sparring with them. And you can spar with so, people. So, to- so what well. I'm saying is, Tony, as his coach, understands how he reacts in certain situations that them two put him under. And he's not telling me that them two, for this fight or whatever, aren't going to be putting it on him. They will be. He understands their reaction and he'll understand what he can and can't do. If he thought he's going to get overwhelmed by Eubank, let's not forget Eubank's got slow feet, right? 
if he looks at that and thinks he's going to get overwhelmed, this is this. Well, Eubank's getting right. caught clean, isn't he, in the fight? Clean. He's going to get caught clean at certain stages Somebody. in the fight because Eubank's not Roy Jones, is he? No. So, but he's it's like hitting yeah. that, mate. Yeah, I agree. And that, then that's that's the thing why, why I would say, yeah, it's such a big ask. And, and listen, if, if Connor pulls this off... Superstar, biggest star in, in British boxing. Massive. If he pulls it off, does he go back to 147? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yes. Biggest star, but he can do what he yeah. wants. He can do what he wants. Yeah, biggest star. He's, yeah. the, he's the big drop. He's, he's the biggest star in British boxing if he beats Chris yeah. Eubank, especially if he does it in emphatic yeah. style. If he beats Chris Eubank, do you think he fights Kel? If if the yeah, yeah if the money's there, it's a, it's a, a prize fighter. Depends what Kel wants to do. I'm saying 100% he fights Kel if he wins it because Kel. Yeah, that's because he's, yeah. yeah. he's heard something. That's because he's heard something. But I just think. Inside information. No, I just know. It takes something big to get him out of bed, obviously. Yeah, yeah. That'll do it. And I know he's been offered them fights yeah. previously. So he's like, yeah. so if one of them win and the buzz rants, so if yeah. Connor wins, obviously. It's he's, the biggest fight. He's a superstar. Just about, just about It'll, arguably the biggest fight. Then the money will turn over, though. He won't then be probably the. He, it's a 50 50. Kel will stop eating Dunkin' Donuts yeah. and he'll, uh, he'll come and take the fight. Let's leave that there. Who wins the fight? How, how, does, it, how, does, how does it end? Um, I think. U you, you Bank wins, and I think you gonna give us a round. I think Tony Sims throws the towel in. That that that's it's a, a possibility. You know, you know, Tony's not gonna let him not, not gonna let him take too much punishment. That's what I think. Come I on, don't know. Dave. I don't, no, Dave. I don't, you I think, can't do that. that. You can't. I, think, I want to see the weigh-in. I want to see U Bank Junior on the scales, and then I'll tell you. I think Chris U Bank comes through early, like. The first three yeah, rounds, I think he gets pinged as yeah, well. Yeah, but don't forget, you went, you went early. Oof. Look, looks great a lot. No, but times, I mean, I think Conor Ben catches him in that earlier though. Like, I think he puts it on him a bit because he's obviously got speed. But I just think when, when he realizes Eubanks staring at him after hitting him with clean right hands, and then he starts hitting him with these mad uppercuts and yeah, then he does and puts the I pressure know. on him. You see, when you when you talk, this Towel is because I'm a, I'm a big Conor Ben fan. I love what he's done throughout his career. I love his attitude. I look at Conor Ben, even in his interviews, and I just see his dad, and I was a massive Nigel Ben fan. So my Milo is a star, as a fan. I was going to say, my, my, that, my, that's, that's I'm going to put my neck on the line. Yeah, I'm going to put my neck on the line and it will probably change my opinion. But right now, I'm going to go for Conor Ben on points. I am. I think if it goes points, I think he'll win anyway because I think he'll get robbed. No. Nah. I think... I think yeah, Connor, Connor's a better boxer. No, no, 100%. But I'm is. saying... We're, we're making out Eubank's useless here. I'm not making out useless. I think I think I think if Eubank, no, Eubank is just Liam he's Williams lost obviously. twice. Liam Williams. He's lost twice to a, to elite yeah. level yeah, fighters. Liam, fighters. Liam Williams obviously not a great fighter, but he's putting him down with Very jabs. Good fighter, that. Very he's good fighter. Putting fight. him down with jabs. Yeah, but oh, but this. So when we're talking about weight, Liam Williams was Depleted. fucked at the weight. Yeah, and that's why. What was that? One sixty five. Was that one sixty five? I can't even remember. Yeah, I think yeah, one sixty. Yeah, but then he gets through the fight. And then after a few but rounds, that was, Roger, that was what you said about Roger Roger Jones. Jones. The, start, the second yeah. half of the fight, Eubank was useless in that fight. Yeah. He didn't try, but did he? But he weren't weren't trying. Yeah, but yeah, but he was just was, trying to do the bit where he looks yeah. away. Yeah. I, I, I didn't like that performance. No. But anyway, that's that. Moving forward, I want to talk about um, Graham Potter to Chelsea. I think that's a wild one. I, I, I think Tucho is worth a hundred of Graham Potter. I'm not oh, being. I love Thomas Tuchel. Yeah. yeah. So I was gutted yeah. when. I don't support any team, but I've liked Chelsea a lot since Tuchel's gone. Obviously, yeah. I've got a friend there who's on the staff as well. Um, Graham Potter's unbelievable coach. Same, you yeah. can clearly see yeah. what he's done. He's done at Brighton. He's played against his Swansea team. He's gone to Brighton, implemented the same style with a really good team. He's had money to spend as well. But the way they play football is unbelievable. But I just... It's impossible for us is to say... Is he better because, than Tuchel? Well, you, can't, really. you won't know, will you, you until two years down the line. can't say it right now, can you? But... Thomas Tuchel is in the bracket of elite elite managers, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I agree. Graham Potter at this moment in time is not. Is not, but how Could can be. he prove it until he yeah, goes? Until because he if you put Tuchel there. in charge of Brighton, he's not winning yeah. Champions League, is he? Do you know no. what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So until Graham Potter gets it, but I don't think he should have had this chance yet because Tuchel, in my opinion, should not have been signed. I don't think so. No. I, 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 I think I know Chelsea have season uh, more at least. <laughs> To try and turn yeah. it around. Obviously, get Chelsea, Bayern Munich and it's, very, it's very early in Possibly. season as well to get rid of him. For, uh, considering what is, I think there's obviously team. problems. Yeah, the owner clearly didn't. Yeah, yeah, he didn't fancy. His, his interview him. said yeah. uh, he didn't have the same vision as us, yeah. same alignment. He's obviously come in American geezer too. She's obviously thought this geezer's not got a clue. Yeah. I know it sounds cynical, but like, how long has Potter got at Chelsea? Say, say for example, Chelsea are eighth at Christmas. He's how, under pressure, isn't he? 
I don't think, I don't think so. I think if he's, if he's got rid of Tuchel to if bring him playing, in... But if they're playing if how they're, they've been playing... If they're playing shocking and they're not in near the top four, yeah. I, I don't care what anyone says. In Ch- at Chelsea, everybody knows what it's like, even yeah. this new one. He sacked Tuchel, who just lost a Champions League yeah, game correct. to Dino Zagreb. But I can't see Chelsea being that far down the table, no matter who's in charge. But do you, not, some do you not think that, that the owner has looked at it? If he's, if he's getting rid of Tuchel, he knows that he's bringing Potter, who's never been proven at this sort of level. He's, in his head, he's going to think, I'm going to give him the full season. I'm going to see how it goes. For I this think season. he definitely gets this season. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. yeah I don't think it, I don't think he gets a second. Because he's got to play. You've got to think about. Obviously, they still play unbelievable football with two short, but Potter's got this own style. I mean, he played Sterling left wing back the other night. So he's obviously got a style of football that he has to implement, and it, you can't sack him after after three months. It's not. So he's working. not. So, um, so you reckon he's, he's safe for the season? One, I'm saying one million percent he gets this season and the start of next. Just a quick one as well. Who's the next Premier League manager to get sacked? And I think Steve Cooper at Forest. I did. Do you think they'll sack him? They've signed I 25 thought, players, know, Nathan. But that's, but that's I why I think you can't it. sack him. Yeah, you've got Imagine that. putting 25 new lads together in exactly. a team and expecting them to be unbelievable. And I get that they the can't dough, The dough that chairman has spent. has spent, he'll want an immediate return. But I think yeah, Steve Cooper... I'm a Derby fan as well. So I, I, Steve, I like Steve Cooper's this. a top manager, though, clearly, because he took him from bottom yeah. of the championship. Great manager, the great manager. That's why I don't think he gets sacked. Not this but at the same time, if no, the owners no. think we're getting relegated here... Yeah, got to get rid of him. Got to get big Sam. They'll be shipping big Sam in. But I think the next manager to get sacked could be... I think Cooper. Or David Brendan Morris. Rogers. Oh, that's a shout. Brendan Do Rogers. Think? I think Brendan, Brendan, Brendan would walk before he... Get, they, they've not signed a single player, Leicester. No. I like, think what do you want, to, what do you want yeah, Brendan Rodgers to do? I'm not saying I'm a psycho... Well, I'm I played against his Celtic teams and got pumped by them, so yeah. <laughs> I can't say anything bad about Brendan Rodgers. No, I think he's a great manager, but his mannerisms... I'm not saying I'm an expert. He looks frustrated. Yeah, he, he, does, look, yeah. he looks like this. Do you know he's giving interviews? He's, yeah. he's, like, he's a bit... He's deflated. Yeah. He's begging. I can see what he's saying he's about He's begging walking. to be sacked. But even him saying at the beginning of the season when he was like, um, yeah, we could do with some more players, like, he sounds frustrated that he's not got... Yeah. the resources that he wants yeah and he's got a 36 year old Jamie yeah. Vardy up front yeah. but you've like, got to think they've gone from winning the Premier League yeah. and Brendan Rodgers won the FA Cup with them yeah. and now the bottom of the Prem yeah. Do you think so they... he's probably thinking what, what's going on here Yeah. so bottom three last end of the season who's in the bottom three um, well Fulham what because they've started unbelievable and they've yeah. got big meter on them yeah, they go, it's um, smashing it isn't it Forest I think so yeah. I think Leicester as well. Nah. I, yeah, think I, Leicester think Leicester, down. I think they got some Leicester finished mid table league. Yeah. Do you think Southampton could go down? Mm. You know what? I don't actually know who's going to go down, I'll be honest. I just think Forest will because I don't think they've got you enough Josh, time you can't, to get you, that you team. can't do that. If you, you, you've got to put every penny you earn now, bottom three, end of the season, who's in the bottom three? Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, Highest paid player in League One, Josh, yeah. <laughs> Forest. Who, who come up? I don't know who come up. Fulham and Fulham uh, Bournemouth. Bournemouth. and uh, who's the other one that went up? Bournemouth. Bournemouth, yeah. good shout. Yeah, Bournemouth, I think, will go. Bournemouth Forest. Forest, and I think if I had to put my money on it right now, I would go with. It's a difficult one, isn't it? Come on. I don't think Southampton. I'm going to say Southampton, and I don't, and think, I don't think they'll go though. I think they're, they're always fine. So, so yeah. I can't what think. You, I can't think about the third Prediction, one. Bottom three. I do. I, I want Forest to stay up. Oh, come I, I would, I'd like honestly, Forest to stay. Like, oh, like Forest. Come on. I'd, I'd like. To, I, in fact, I want to go to a Forest match actually. And Forest, is the, big, Forest is the biggest yeah. club in the middle of the league. Yeah, so. no, just like the that. atmosphere. So, and plus atmosphere. Who's a bigger club? Forest or Derby? Are you daft? How is how is Derby a bigger club than Forest? They're a bigger club than Forest. Not right now. They've not right. been in the Premier League for 25 years, you dafty. Yeah, no, he's yeah. got more fans. Derby. Come on. Of course they have. Really? Bigger stadium as well. Come on, what are you on about? It's not going to have an half empty stadium. It's Derby are never a half empty. You get 25,000 in League One, baby. Yes. Get 25,000 in League One. We won't start doing stick because I know no, Derby no. fans get a lot of stick. We with can't talk about League One either. No, yeah, yeah, we're banned from League One. I don't one. want to lose my job, man. Yeah, yeah we're banned from League yeah. One. Um, no, I don't, I don't want Forest to go down. I'll be honest with you. I'll, I'll, well, I, I, I am like confused of how many players are brought in. So you can't. You can't. I, don't I do think, think they will go down. I, I do think they will. I don't down. think you can sign that many players no, an and, and gel them straight away. No. Fulham did it, didn't they? The, the, um, well, they signed. They spent hundred million and finished rock bottom. Yeah, they? that's what I mean. Yeah. They, Fulham did the same thing. Yeah. They, they, they signed a load of players. They couldn't gel, and they, and they, and they went down. Now they look a top side, don't they, Fulham? Yeah. Um, He's doing well for me. I'm not just saying it's because I am biased against Forest. You know, I don't, don't like. We, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't like Forest. But I think they go down. I yeah, do. I do. 
I think I, I agree with you just. I think, I, think, I think they pull it round because they've got Lingard. They've got some unreal players. He's on the bench. On the bench. <laughs> no, but even like... Lingard's having a party there. Even, 200 even, bangs that's a week. He should have signed for I think, I think Lingard on a one-year contract is dangerous as well because yeah. he's going to get to a point where yeah. he's like... Don't care about this. We're not yeah. doing very well. Yeah. I'm not even here next year. Yeah. He'll be he'll be on to his agent now going, oh, yeah. we've, we've had a blinder here and he'll be he'll be getting his next job in the he's MLS. A, he's a good player though, isn't he? Great yeah. player, but he's, he's not showing it. He's spent some dough as well. Yeah, Gibbs White, to be fair, mil. I'll give him yeah. credit. I will give the Forest chairman credit. They're they having a right good, They have signed some good players, but it's getting them to gel. But forty million for Morgan Gibbs White. Yeah. Oh, me. What about the guy who left playing every single week for Atletico Madrid to sign for Forest, the left back? It's That's a, some decision. That it's a yeah. mad one. Yeah, yeah. It's a mad who's, one. who's advising yeah, that it's, one? It's, he must be getting. Weird. But you know what it is? It's like I. I I don't know. Obviously, Lingard is the money, but but sometimes, you know, when a team like Forest comes up, that is a big club. Massive. I club. remember when when I was a kid, Forest, Goodness Forest were up there, and and Forest, Forest a massive are a club. Big club. They are a big club, right? It's like when you're a, a massive club. Do you know what I mean? Derby are so, a massive club. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Dave. They are. Uh, yeah, it was a bigger club Wednesday or Derby. Derby. No way. No way. The hobby. No way. Come on, man. The hobby. But yeah, we'll move on. I missed a penalty at Forest. <laughs> Keeper saved it, man. I was fuming. Oh, well, no, I don't, I don't. Listen. Do you think Villa will get out? No. Do you think? No. I just spent a fortune. I do think the St- Stevie's think? under pressure a little yeah. bit at the minute. But who do you think goes first, Stevie or Brendan Rodgers? Bre- oh, Brendan. I, I, yeah, Brent, Brendan. Only because Brendan's walking his own plan. Stevie, and wants I think, to push himself off it. Stevie yeah, seems to have a good like relationship it. with the owner at Villa as well. Right. Obviously, I've never worked. I've played against Brendan's team. I've yeah. obviously had Stephen as a manager before. What's he I like? think I think he will. I, he's good. He's good. He lost his coach to QPR though. Do you think he regrets leaving Rangers? No. Um, a little I bit. I think the mentality is different because he's going to Villa. Who is, if, if Villa finish eighth, yeah. he's getting caught around the stadium. Right. If no, but he was Rangers loved. don't he finish was first, he's getting yeah. executed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was at Rangers for three years, never won the league once, never came close to Celtic, and you're seen as. A, a, dis- a disgrace if you don't finish first. Who's a bigger club, Celtic or Rangers? Rangers, come on. And then, if you go to Villa, the expectation to win every week isn't there. You don't have to win every single game because yeah. you just don't. You can't. You're not going to beat Liverpool. Yeah. You say the expectations at Rangers is higher than it is at Aston Villa oh, by an yeah. absolute mile. Because you have to win. You have to win the league. You have to win every match. You play Barcelona in the Champions League. You have to win. Otherwise, you're getting booed off. Simple. That's pressure. See, that, see that's, that's mad. That is pressure. That is, that is pressure. So when he's gone to Villa, obviously on a fortune, I'm assuming. Yeah. He deserved the Premier League job for what he did. He's gone there. You go to Old Trafford. You draw nil nil. Yeah. And he'll be thinking, we're just just drawing again. Yeah. yeah. Bearing in mind he's played for Liverpool his whole career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah not, course, he'll be yeah. thinking, I'm getting clapped for getting a draw. I'm not used to this. But. You, so you're you, saying Stevie just needs to finish top eight. Villa fans will be happy with that. Yeah, and I don't know if that'll. In the long run, make him Cause surely fully happy. Teams like I think Newcastle that, and Villa yeah. need to be now looking at the top six, don't they? Yeah, they're, 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 they're you can't unless you're Liverpool, Man United, or yeah. Chelsea, and Man City. I don't think you can put that pressure on yourself to win every game. But that's, that's it's expected. What What do you Rangers. think is a, a realistic positioning for Newcastle this season? Yeah. So similar to Villa, they've got to finish between tenth and sixth. Yeah, top ten. Okay, round this off. Who finishes top? Who finishes bottom? Premier League this season. I think Man City have already won the league. I'll be yeah. straight honest. City, Erling Haaland is an alien in yeah, it. I don't think I, I don't want to get battered, but I, Man City Bournemouth. I don't think it's Man City Bournemouth. I don't think it's that hard of a question. Yeah, but I do think Tottenham will win them close. I said this. Yeah. No, I said this. I said I think Spurs Conte's are going to be yeah, are going to be down the. Th- I don't think they'll win the league. Conte's think, a winner, but I think with Conte. He's got them. He's got yeah. them playing. He's won every league. He's got, yeah, he's got. He's got them. He's got them playing. I think they'll be down the throats of Man City. I think the same as Josh. I think top of the league, Man City, bottom Bournemouth. What about you, Dave? Uh, Man City, obviously, and it kills me to say it. Um, bottom. That's it. It's not that hard of a question. Yeah, I, I, I could, I, we I, could come back. If Bournemouth fail, it'll be Forest, class. Don't you? I would. Sif, uh, I think it's toss up between Bournemouth and Forest. Oh, lovely. That will end that. We'll end that one on there. That wraps everything up for this uh, for this week. We're going to be doing this on a regular basis. Josh Windass, myself, Sam Jones, Dave Caldwell. We'll see you very soon.